What is up everybody? I'm probably gonna say this for the next few videos. You're gonna notice it's a new surrounding. I'm finally moved into my new home and got something I wanna talk about. So, uh, you may recall recently I received the new Billy Saunders book by Stephen King and I did a little read of uh, the jacket description and the synopsis. Uh, so I'm gonna do some of those uh, going forward. Uh, I think it'll be a fun way to kind of introduce you to some authors, some new books that are coming out and things like that and kind of keep my channel alive while I decide uh, what I'm doing with mystery boxes and stuff. So we got a new one on hand. It is from Richard Chismar. Um, he is a uh, publisher and editor over at Cemetery Dance Magazine, the owner of Cemetery Dance Publications. Uh, he edits anthologies, produces films, writes screenplays, teaches writings. I'm cheating on this screen here, I apologize. But he seems like an all around good dude. Uh, he's pretty active on Twitter. Uh, he's been pushing this book for quite some time. Uh, he's done some co some co-writing with Stephen King on the Gwendy series. Um, I'm actually still waiting on uh, the Gwendy's Magic Feather book, uh, the special edition that I ordered. Uh, it's been two years, but they got some backups. Uh, there was a production delay on the slipcase. So not their fault by any stretch. I can be patient. I'm just whiny. But we have his new book in hand. It is Chasing the Boogeyman, a novel. So let's see here. Advanced praise for Chasing the Boogeyman. Josh Mallerman, who you may know from Bird Box. An absolute chilling mashup of styles, media, biography, and legend. Elastic, unsettling, brilliant. Riley Sagar, Sager, uh, uh, an unflinching look at a real-life monster and the ordinary heroes obsessed with stopping him. So based on just those two, it kind of puts me into like uh, the outsider kind of mindset. Um, I haven't really looked too far into what this book is about. I've been wanting to read his work for a while, so I snatched it up when I could. But I have a book of his short stories that I, I need to finally get around to reading. Uh, on the front, genuinely chilling and something brand new and exciting, compulsive reading and scary from none other than Stephen King. Now, I know he works with Stephen King quite a bit, but I don't care who you are. If you write a book and Stephen King puts his stamp of approval on it, that's going to be a selling point for me. There was the bad, the unimaginably, indescribably bad, hovering above all those wonderful memories like an angry slate gray thunderstorm sky. In the summer of 1988, the mutilated bodies of several missing girls begin to turn up in the small Maryland town. The grisly evidence leads police to the terrifying assumption that a serial killer is on the loose in the quiet suburb, and soon a rumor begins to spread that the evil stalking local teens is not entirely human. But law enforcement members of the FBI are certain the killer is a living, breathing madman, and that he's playing games with them. For a once peaceful community trapped in the depths of paranoia and suspicion, it feels like a nightmare that will never end. Recent college graduate Richard Chismar returns to his hometown just as a curfew is en enacted and a neighborhood watch group is formed. In the midst of preparing for his wedding and embarking on a writing career, he soon finds himself thrust into a real-life horror story. Inspired by the terrifying events, Chismar writes a personal account of the serial killer's reign of terror, unaware that his time back home will continue to haunt him for years to come. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, that's pretty cool. A clever, terrifying, and heart-rending work of metafiction, Chasing the Boogeyman is the ultimate marriage between psychological horror and true crime. Shizmar's writing, combining the storytelling of Stephen King with the relentless suspense of Michelle McNamara, is on full display in this truly unique novel that will linger in your memory long after you turn the first page. All right, all right, I'm, I'm down. I didn't realize this was based on truth. I don't know how I missed that. I feel kind of dumb because I'm sure that's been everywhere. Huh. All right. There's even some pictures, so that's always good. All right, flipping to the back side here. Richard Chismar is the co-author with Stephen King of the New York Times best-selling novella Gwendy's Button Box. Recent books include The Girl on the Porch, The Long Way Home, his fourth short story collection, and Winnow's Point, a chilling tale about a haunted lighthouse co-written with his son, Billy Chismar, which was recently made into a feature film. 
His short fiction has appeared in dozens of publications, including Ellery Queen Magazine, I'm sorry, Ellery Queen Mystery Magazine, and the year's 25 finest crime and mystery stories. He has won two World Fantasy Awards, four International Horror Guild Awards, and the HWA's Board of Trustees Award. Shizmar's work has been translated into more than 15 languages throughout the world, and he has appeared at numerous conferences as a writing instructor, speaker, panelist, and guest of honor. Follow him on Twitter at Richard Chismar or visit his website at www.richardchismar.com. So, again, I was not expecting this to be based on truth, and I'm that makes it even more exciting for me. Uh, I'm almost done with Billy Summers. Obviously, moving has put a little crimp in my reading time uh, in school and everything, but this will be next on the list. Chasing the Boogeyman by Richard Chismar. It is out now. You can get it uh, at major bookstores, Amazon, and I believe they still have some available on cemeterydance.com. Pow.